You're watching Positive Progression Television. I'm Chris Johnson, your host. And uh, thanks so much for watching the program. Uh, this gentleman who has joined us on the show certainly doesn't need any introduction into the business. He's been around for a minute, you know. He's pinned tracks for people like Mario, Chris Brown, collaborated with Lady Gaga, Brandy, Enrique Iglesias, so many more. I'll let him tell us all about it, all right? We want to welcome singer and songwriter, national recording artist, Atazio, right here to the show. What's up, my bro? Man, I'm cool, man. How you feeling, man? Man, everything is wonderful. Everything is wonderful. I, I know you're hanging out down in the Grady Curve, okay, in Spaghetti Junction area. So, uh, <laughs> you know, so Atazio, a lot of great things, man, uh, happening with you. Um, sure. So talk to us a little bit about Atazio and just refresh everyone on who Atazio is, man. Um, I came into this, uh, I came into the business when I was 17. Uh, in Florida, we like to say a JIT. That means you young, you know what I mean? So I came in as a JIT um, and coming in uh, writing for uh, Mario, Chris Brown, um, Genuine, SWV, uh, Kelly from Michelle, um, Michelle from uh um uh, destiny child uh collaborating with enrique iglesias and lady gaga uh right. writing for uh new kids on the block so <clears throat> excuse me uh i ran for a lot of uh, big name legendary r b artists and pop artists and i just felt like it was time for me to do my own thing you know what i mean being behind the camera for uh so long and i felt like it was time for me to step in front of the camera so because right now r b is in a void and I'm here to feel that. Okay. Now, uh, just stress a bit more on that. Just elaborate more on that. When you say R&B be is in a void, um, no doubt, you know, because I tell you, it's, it's an oversaturation of music out there now, you know, and, and, and to say that it's in a void, uh, we know with all of the music out there, it's lacking some substance. Um, I guess. Okay. So just talk to us a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's almost like I, 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 it's a crazy say saturation. It's almost like when you you know you eat something and if you look, well for me for everything I eat because I'm vegan, I look at right. the ingredients on the back and it says saturated fat. When I see saturated fat, that means I try to stay away from it. Uh, right. You know what I mean? So with all the saturation of music out here, it's a plethora of music. But the thing about it is, as you already stated, there's substance. There's no substance. So. I feel like the genre R&B uh, has gotten disrespected for the past five to seven years and it's starting to upset me. So I feel like, you know, nobody's actually talking about nothing. Like, you know, back in the day, you know, music that my, my mama used to play for me, music that's in my generation, uh, you know, early 2000s, you know, you heard about love, you heard about heart, you heard about happy love, sad love, mad yeah. love, but always about love and now you know r&b music don't talk about love all it is is you know what i'm saying these ain't loyal or and it's and i and i love and i love the music and when it when it exists in the right spectrum but you're gonna get pieces of that but you also need to get some of this love stuff and we're not really getting that so i just felt like it's time to really bring back that type of music and two women always tell me exactly what it is that they love to listen to you know That's what i mean right. other side of heartbreak Whereas I'm the one doing the heartbreak and yeah. she's playing nothing but late nineties, early two thousand music. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh yeah, I done messed up. When you hit so when the right, women bring out over. that R and B music, <laughs> going to get my money back. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's a wrap. Done. You might work. So yeah, I feel like that's what's missing from R and B music and that's the that's the that's the energy 
and the sound and the feeling that I'm I'm bringing back. And I consider my new era of R&B, trill R&B, because trill is two words, truth and real. I talk real. about real life. I talk about true love. So that's trill R&B. That's right. You know, that's the sign of times, you know, of today, no doubt, you know, um, itself. And just touch a little bit more just on the upbringing, man. You know, tell us a little bit about your mother. She uh, um, obviously uh, we think all of uh, those out there, veterans and all those who served for us uh, as well, like your mother in, in branches of services. And also talk a little bit about um, your grandmother who influenced you, man, just right from the church. Okay. Um, yeah, man. You know, I've been blessed to have been, you know, reared in a sense, you know what I mean, by strong black women. My my, my mom, she served in Desert Storm um, and she was in the army. So she served in Desert Storm. And she told me a story one time where she was in the barriers and they had just left maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And after they left that 10, 15 minutes, uh, their barracks was bombed. So wow. I would have lost my mama. You know, I would have never wow. really known my mom growing up had she been in the barracks at the time. So that's a blessing for me to have, yes. you know, my mom growing up and knowing that she put her life on the line for this country. So that's, that's why right. sometimes it upsets me how America treats black people, especially black women, because they stood on the front line for this country just as well as the counterpart in every other race that stood for this country. So that's the disrespect that I do not like about what America does. But other than that, it's a beautiful country. Uh, and my grandma, man, country, country lady, man, country. I'm talking about <laughs> country, I mean, country, you hear me? Uh, she, Some old never, traditional values, you know right? Yeah, man, she, 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 she never, she never used words the right way. You know, sometimes she'll say, don't lose my keys. And I always used to correct that black. Ma right. is don't lose my keys. She said, well, what I said? I said, don't lose my keys. You know what I mean? So, but she was that way. And I love the fact that she was that way because she she only moved in what she knew and she knew love. And that's right. the way she moved in and putting us in a church and kept me in a church will actually hone my gift. You know what I mean? I was in a church every day of the week besides, uh, you know, uh, uh, Thursday. Every other day, I'm in church. Monday, Tuesday, Bible study. If we weren't in church, I mean, we weren't in school. Wednesday, noonday prayer. Friday, yeah. prayer and prayer service. And then you got, and then you got revival services at night. You then that's I'm late saying? night. You may get out of church. Well, whenever you get out, right? <laughs> I know. So I'm missing the football games and all that. But you know, I, I'm I'm grateful for it now as a grown man because. Uh -huh. That Bible has been instrumental in my life. The way she loved, she showed me how to love unconditionally. That's that was the first. So you know, I've I've heard people say, "Man, it's a di you know cer certain memes," and people say, "You always can tell the difference of people who grew up on survival and people who grew up on love." I grew up on love, so I know how to love, and I've learned through life. I, I hear people say, "I love hard, I love hard." Now I don't love hard no more. I've learned through life I love easy because my grandma loved easy. She loved everybody. And I realized that at her funeral, we grew you know, I grew up in a small little church and at her funeral, it was packed to the point where you couldn't even fit more people in the church. And I learned wow. in that moment that she was loved. That's right. You know what I mean? Right. She was celebrated in life. She was, I'm talking about from the street dudes to the, to the, to the rich white people she worked for, to the people she worked with, she right. was loved. And, and I learned that through that experience, that's the way I want to move in life. When I'm when I'm gone from this 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 particular plane, I want to I want to have a procession like that. I want to be loved to that degree. So because she's taught me that, that gave me more more gumption to want to you know sing about real life and real love. Because you know she showed me that I have a song on the project that's called Flowers. that's dedicated to my grandma. Because you remember back in the day, you used to have songs like Mama and. That's you know, right. you know, Tupac, Dear Mama, Boys and Men, Mama, oh. songs like that, that celebrated those black women that gave us, you know, that, right. that love and that really. And were plain and simple messages, you know, very plain, very simple, you know, and mean a whole lot. You know, it has so much significance to it, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah, so that was amazing. Zatazio right here on Positive Progression TV, dropping all that good knowledge um, all the way around. Uh, he's got a wonderful single out right now 
okay? We all go through the heartbreak thing, okay, no doubt. And I know Atazio was definitely thinking about some heartbreak at this, you know. You know, I yeah. think this this one took Atazio off the streets on this one, uh, that's for sure. You know? <laughs> to him. All I got to say is, you know, when you did the treatment for Feel Better, I should have been right there with you. Looked like he was having a little bit too much fun, Atazio. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you saw it. About, saw it. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your current music project. We've got Cure, um, that single, all right, that's quite, quite well, man, it's out. But your current uh, visual that's out right now is Feel Better. How about just giving us a little bit of synopsis about Feel Better? How did you come up with that single? You know, uh, uh, got my heart broke uh, being out here in these. Um, you know, I felt like uh, I had, you know, found the woman that I want to kind of build with. I ain't want to, you know, lock in because I'm too young to do all of that. But I just felt like I wasn't, I wasn't ready to settle down. I'm too young for that. But I definitely wanted to build with because Jay Z right. said it best. Jay -Z said, I want to, I don't want to, I want a wife, somebody I can bounce these ideas off at night. And That's right type of energy that I was on. So that's what I wanted to, you know, you know, develop and build, but end up getting my heart broke. And growing up, I idolized the street dudes. You know what I mean? That's who I looked up to. And when I seen that, you know, one of my uncles got his heart broke and I just felt like, hey, if he can cry about this situation or he can, you know, just express it to one of my older cousins, that's the type of energy that I need to express for myself. And that's what I did. I decided, you know what I'm saying, stop running from it and then embrace it. And that's what, you know, that's what came out and I was, you know, feel better. And at the time, you know, a new girl came in and she started speaking life to me. She started telling me how much of a king I was, how great I was. And that's that, right. you know, just, you know, again, like I said, propelled me to giving go into- you up, Giving you that inspiration, giving you that support, giving you that mental support, Absolutely. you know, ride or die. <laughs> And they, and they, and they, and they, exactly, right or die, that's the key, that's the key, that's the key phrase right there. And a lot of times what, again, black women don't get credit for is all these great men who we've seen in history had that strong black woman standing behind them. Yes. You know, as Coretta Scott King, Michelle Obama, yes. uh, you know, those infamous, beautiful black women that stood behind that man who we've known to become great influential men in our life and lifetime in history. So to me, when she spoke that to me, that's what I felt. I, I, she exuded that energy from those women and I exuded those men. So I stepped into that energy and, you know, she made me feel better. And that's the, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole energy of the song. <laughs> Atazio said it best right here on Positive Progression TV. Why don't you give us an intro right into this wonderful visual. Um, yeah, man, this is the, you know, video for my for my new single, uh, Feel Better. It's an amazing visual. I love that, you know, I was able to put this beautiful dark-skinned woman in front of this camera because a lot of times these dark-skinned women are not getting the inclusion that they deserve. And I gave different flavors of black women because these black women come in different flavors, you know what I'm saying? Different skins, you know what I mean? Right. But it was to have her, you know, uh, grace the, the front of that camera for me, man. So, yeah, make sure y'all tune into that video. It's an amazing video. Tazio, anyone that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with um, in the industry itself? You know, you've got a nice, uh, wonderful discography. Um, you've, uh, as we've spoken about, you've penned a lot of tracks for a lot of artists out there. You've collaborated with a lot of artists on various genres which is obviously the big thing now, you know, um, Positive Progression TV is in several international markets. And so we've got a nice uh, fat international fan base all in the Eastern Caribbeans and Canada. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And so um, anyone know that <clears throat> you've always wanted to work with? Uh, yeah. Um, J. Cole being the first. Um, ah, North Carolina's yeah. And his <laughs> Music is like my gospel music, uh, nice. and I write like pretty much every day. Like if I'm ever in a moment where I just gotta get into my vibe, I throw uh, J Cole uh, off season on, and I just ride to it, and I just it just speaks to me on a different type of level. So, you know, shout out to J Cole, you know what I'm saying, for being a great artist. So definitely wanna work with him. 
Shout out to J. Cole. I just I just uh got a chance to uh see Jasmine Sullivan uh live. We uh uh you know the label got us tickets to the, the concert, Summer Walker yes. concert, and got a chance to see Jasmine Sullivan live. So Jasmine, if you see this interview, I need to I we need to chop it up. I need to, you know what I'm saying? I need to slide on something with you. Uh you absolutely are incredible. You're amazing. I love everything about what you do, vocally, lyrically, musically, performance-wise. So I'm just I'm just putting this energy out there so you know what type you know what type of time I'm on. Um we're gonna make sure Jasmine Sullivan gets that message. Absolutely, man. She's ama- she's absolutely incredible. Uh I love money, I love money long. I want to work with money long. She's hey. ex writer now. Uh well, she's a writer, but you know what I'm saying? She's in front of the cameras as well as myself. I love to touch bases with her on that on that side. Kendrick Lamar, uh, another hey. amazing artists I got to work with. And then a few artists I just get didn't get a chance because, you know, they transitioned before I could, which is Nipsey, Tupac, Prince, Ooh, Michael yes. Jackson. Uh, Icons, man. A lot, a lot of the greats, man. I didn't get a chance yeah. to work with. I will say, I will say, I'm going to figure out a way to get some of those old masters and we're going to do some things because I just got to be able to say I graced a song with these great artists, man. So, yeah, man, I'm and looking for Opportunity. Actually, you've got some solid advice. You have to share it with everyone from uh, um, the iconic Isaac Hayes. Um, yeah, 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 you have to share. Yeah, it's what's crazy is um, I'm. I know his. I know his son uh, Isaac Hayes the third, which is um, he's the co-creator of fan base app, which is a social media platform. So shout out mm-hmm. to Isaac third. Uh, for that, you know, uh, but yeah, man, I got a chance to meet Isaac Hayes years ago uh, when I was like, you know, 12, 13 years old. Yeah. And, you know, I was in this big choir and the choir director was a producer from back, uh, back in the day. So she had these relationships and, you know, he came, you know, came in and was talking to us and um, she asked, um, you know, would, would he give some words to the, to, to, to us? So then he turned around, he asked the question to us. And then, you know, I got a chance to talk to him. And I told him what, what I wanted to do. And he said, so tell me again, what you want to do? I said, I want to, you know, I want to sing. I want to write. I want to produce. He said, you sure that's what you want to do? I'm like, yeah. He says, well, listen, you first have to know that you have the gift and the ability to do it. That's first. You don't believe in yourself. Don't worry about what's happening around you because it is not going to matter because you ain't got what it takes to get to the next level because you don't believe that you deserve to be on the next level. So mm-hmm. telling me that at 12, 13, that just only amplified what I was already feeling within myself because I'm like, this is Isaac Hayes giving me these words. And I just took that to heart and I've always felt like I belonged in the room. I've always felt like I was great. I always felt like I had the the ability, the talent, and the gift to get to the next level, which I'm finally sitting here talking to you because I'm on that level. So, man, that's man. Just, I think, and I think that's important because when I be get to when I when I get to the point to be where Isaac Hayes was, I want to be able to do the same thing and tell the next generation that believe in yourself first. Know that you have what it takes to get to the next level because it, it first starts with you. That's why the Bible says, "But what a man think of, so he is." Yeah, you know I mean, that goes back to the, the upbringing that my grandma gave me. So all these yeah. things are connected on my journey to where I am today. So that, that was just amazing piece of advice that Isaac Hayes gave me. Zatazio right here on Positive Progression TV, dropping all that good knowledge um, all the way around. Uh, he's got a wonderful single out right now. OK, we all go through the heartbreak thing. OK, no doubt. And I know Atazio was definitely thinking about some heartbreak this, you know, you know, I think this this one took Atazio off the streets on this one. That's for sure. You know? <laughs> to him. All I got to say is, you know, when you did the treatment for feel better, I should have been right there with you. Looked like he was having a little bit too much fun, Atazio. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you saw it. About it. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your current music project. We've got Cure. Um, that single, all right, that's quite, quite well, man, it's out, but your current uh, visual that's out right now is Feel Better. How about just giving us a little bit of synopsis about Feel Better? How did you come up with that single, you know? Uh, 
uh, got my heart broke uh, being out here in these, um, you know, I felt like uh, I had, you know, found the woman that I want to kind of build with. I ain't want to, you know, lock in because I'm too young to do all of that. But I just felt like I wasn't, I wasn't ready to settle down. I'm too young for that. But I definitely wanted to build with because Jay Z said it best. Jay said, "I want to. I don't want to. I want a wife, somebody I can bounce these ideas off at night." And that's right. Type of energy that I was on. So that's what I wanted to, you know, you know, develop and build, but end up getting my heart broke. And growing up, I idolized the street dudes. You know what I mean? That's who I looked up to. And when I seen that, you know, one of my uncles got his heart broke, and I just felt like, hey, if he can cry about this situation or he can, you know, just express it to one of my older cousins, that's the type of energy that I need to express for myself. And that's what I did. I decided, you know what I'm saying, stop running from it and then embrace it. And that's what, you know, that's what came out and I was, you know, feel better. And at the time, you know, a new girl came in and she started speaking life to me. She started telling me how much of a king I was, how great I was. And that's that, right. you know, just, you know, again, like I said, propelled me to giving go on the you up, Giving you that inspiration, giving you that support, giving you that mental support, Absolutely. you know, ride or die. <laughs> And they, and they, and they, and they, exactly, ride or die. That's the key, that's the key, that's the key phrase right there. And a lot of times what, again, black women don't get credit for is all these great men who we've seen in history had that strong black woman standing behind them. Yes. You know, as Coretta Scott King, Michelle Obama. Yes. Uh, you know, those infamous, beautiful black women that stood behind that man who we've known to become great influential men in our life and lifetime of history. So to me, when she spoke that to me, that's what I felt. I, I, she exuded that energy from those women and I exuded those men. So I stepped into that energy and, you know, she made me feel better. And that's the, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole energy of the song. <laughs> Atazio said it best right here on Positive Progression TV. Why don't you give us an intro right into this wonderful visual? Um. Yeah, man, this is the you know video for my for my new single, uh, Feel Better. It's an amazing visual. I love that you know I was able to put this beautiful dark skinned woman in front of this camera because a lot of times these dark skinned women are not getting the inclusion that they deserve. And I gave different flavors of black women because these black women come in different flavors. You know what I'm saying? Different skins. You know what I mean? Right. But it was to have her, you know, uh, grace the, the front of that camera for me, man. So, yeah, make sure y'all tune into that video. It's an amazing video. Tazio right here on Positive Progression TV, singer and songwriter. Tazio, anyone that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with um, in the industry itself? You know, you've got a nice, uh, wonderful discography. Um, you've uh, as we've spoken about, you've penned a lot of tracks for a lot of artists out there. You've collaborated with a lot of artists on various genres, which is obviously the big thing now. You know, um, Positive Progression TV is in several international markets. And so we've got a nice, uh, fat international fan base all in the Eastern Caribbean and Canada. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And so um, anyone know that <clears throat> you've always wanted to work with? Uh yeah, um J. Cole being the first. Um, uh no Carolina's yeah. <laughs> and his music is like my gospel music. Um uh, nice. and I rock like pretty much every day. Like if I'm ever in a moment where I just gotta get into my vibe, I throw uh J. Cole uh off season on and I just ride to it and I just it just speaks to me on a different type of level. So you know, shout out to J. Cole, you know what I'm saying, for being a great artist. So definitely want to work with him. Uh, shout out to J. Cole. I just, I just uh, got a chance to uh, see Jasmine Sullivan uh, live. We, uh, uh, you know, the label got us tickets to the, the concert, Summer Walker yes. concert, and got a chance to see Jasmine Sullivan live. So, Jasmine, if you see this interview, I need to, I, we need to chop it up. I need to, you know what I'm saying? I need to slide on something with you. Uh, you absolutely are incredible. You're amazing. I love everything about what you do, vocally, lyrically, musically, performance-wise. So I'm just, I'm just putting this energy out there. So, you know, what type, you know, what type of time I'm on. Um, We're going to make sure Jasmine Sullivan gets that message. Absolutely, man. She's a, she's absolutely incredible. Uh, I love money. I love money long. I want to work with money long. She's a writer now. Uh, 
well, she's a writer, but you know what I'm saying? She's in front of the camera as well as myself. I love to touch bases with her on that on that side. Kendrick Lamar, uh, another yeah. amazing artist I got to work with. And then a few artists I just get, get didn't get a chance because, you know, they transitioned before I could, which is Nipsey, Tupac, Prince, Ooh. Michael yes. Jackson. Uh, Icons, man. A lot, a lot of the greats, wow. man. I didn't get a chance yeah. to work with. I will say, I will say, I'm going to figure out a way to get some of those old masters and we're going to do some things because I just got to be able to say I graced a song with these great artists, man. So, yeah, man, I'm and looking for the opportunity. Actually, you've got some solid advice. You have to share it with everyone from uh, um, the iconic Isaac Hayes. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have to share. Yeah, it's what's crazy is um, I'm, I know his I know his son, uh, Isaac Hayes III, which is um, he's the co-creator of fan base app, which is a social media platform. So shout out to Isaac Third uh, for that, you know. Uh, but yeah, man, I got a chance to meet Isaac Hayes years ago uh, when I was like, you know, 12, 13 years old. Yeah. And, you know, I was in this big choir and the choir director was a producer from back uh, back in the day. So she had these relationships and, you know, he came, you know, came in and she's talking to us and um, she asked, um, you know, would, would he give some words to the to, to, to us? So then he turned around, and he asked the question to us and then, you know, I got a chance to talk to him. He, and I told him what, what I wanted to do. And he said, so tell me again, what you want to do? I said, I want to, you know, I want to sing. I want to write. I want to produce. He said, you sure that's what you want to do? I'm like, yeah. He says, but well, listen. You first have to know that you have the gift and the ability to do it. That's first. You don't believe in yourself. Don't worry about what's happening around you because it is not going to matter because you ain't got what it takes to get to the next level because you don't believe that you deserve to be on the next level. So right. telling me that at 12, 13, that just only amplified what I was already feeling within myself because I'm like, this is as a case giving me these words and I just took that to heart and I've always felt like I belonged in the room I've always felt like I was great I always felt like I had the the ability the talent and the gift to get to the next level which I'm finally sitting here talking to you because I'm on that level so man that's man. Just, I think and I think that's important because when I get to when I when I get to the point to be where Isaac Hayes was I want to be able to do the same thing and tell the next generation that Believe in yourself first. Know that you have what it takes to get to the next level because it, it first starts with you. That's why the Bible says, but what a man think of, so he is. You know what I mean? That goes back to the, the upbringing that my grandma gave me. So all these yeah. things connected on my journey to where I am today. So that's, that was just amazing piece of advice that Isaac Hayes gave me. Zatazio right here on Positive Progression TV, dropping all that good knowledge um, all the way around. Uh, he's got a wonderful single out right now okay we all go through the heartbreak thing okay no doubt and i know atazio was definitely thinking about some heartbreak this you know you know i think this this one took atazio off the streets on this one that's for sure you know (laughs) all i gotta say is you know when you did the treatment for feel better I should have been right there with you. Looked like he was having a little bit too much fun, Atazio. You know what I'm saying? You, you, uh, you saw, uh, saw it. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your current music project. We've got Cure, um, that single, all right, that's quite, quite well, man, it's out. But your current uh, visual that's out right now is Feel Better. How about just giving us a little bit of synopsis about Feel Better? How did you come up with that single? You know, uh, uh, got my heart broke uh, being out here in these. Uh, you know, I felt like uh, I had, you know, found the woman that I wanted to kind of build with. I ain't want to, you know, lock in because I'm too young to do all of that. But I just felt like I wasn't, I wasn't ready to settle down. I'm too young for that. But I definitely wanted to build with. Because Jay said it best. Jay said, I want to. I don't want to. I want a wife, somebody I can bounce these ideas off at night. And That's right type of energy that I was on. So that's what I wanted to, you know, you know, develop and build, but end up getting my heart broke. And growing up, I idolized the street dudes. You know what I mean? That's who I looked up to. And when I seen that, you know, one of my uncles got his heart broke and I just felt like, dang, if he can cry about this situation or he can 
you know, just express it to one of my older cousins. That's the type of energy that I need to express for myself. And that's what I did. I decided, you know what I'm saying? Stop running from it and then embrace it. And that's what, you know, that's what came out and I was, you know, feel better. And at the time, you know, a new girl came in and she started speaking life to me. She started telling me how much of a king I was, how great I was. And that's that, right. you know, just, you know, again, like I said, propelled me to giving go in the you up, Giving you that inspiration, giving you that support, giving you that mental support, Absolutely. you know, ride or and, die. And, and they, and they, and they, and they exactly ride or die. That's the key. That's the key. That's the key phrase right there. And a lot of times what, again, black women don't get credit for is all these great men who we've seen in history had that strong black woman standing behind them, yes. you know, as Coretta Scott King, Michelle Obama, yes. uh, you know, those infamous, beautiful black women that stood behind that man who we've known to become great influential men in our life and lifetime in history. So to me, when she spoke that to me, that's what I felt. I, I, she exuded that energy from those women and I exuded those men. So I stepped into that energy and, you know, she made me feel better. And that's the, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole energy of the song. <laughs> Otazio said it best right here on Positive Progression TV. Why don't you give us an intro right into this wonderful visual. Um, yeah, man, this is the, you know, video for my for my new single, uh, Feel Better. It's an amazing visual. I love that, you know, I was able to put this beautiful dark-skinned woman in front of this camera because a lot of times these dark-skinned women are not getting the inclusion that they deserve. And I gave different flavors of black women because the black women come in different flavors, you know what I'm saying? Different skins, you know what I mean? Right. But it was to have her, you know, uh, grace the, the front of that camera for me, man. So, yeah, make sure y'all tune into that video. It's an amazing video. Tazio right here on Positive Progression TV, singer and songwriter. Tazio, anyone that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with um, in the industry itself? You know, you've got a nice, uh, wonderful discography. Um, you've uh, as we've spoken about, you've penned a lot of tracks for a lot of artists out there. You've collaborated with a lot of artists on various genres, which is obviously the big thing now. You know, um, Positive Progression TV is in several international markets. And so we've got a nice uh, fat international fan base all in the Eastern Caribbean and Canada. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And so um, anyone know that <clears throat> you've always wanted to work with? Uh, yeah, um, J. Cole being the first. Um, uh, North Carolina's yeah. <laughs> and his music is like my gospel music. Uh, nice. And I rock like, pretty much every day. Like, if I'm ever in a moment where I just got to get into my vibe, I throw uh, J. Cole uh, off season on and I just ride to it. And I just, it just speaks to me on a different type of level. So, you know, shout out to J. Cole, you know what I'm saying, for being a great artist. So definitely want to work with him. Uh, shout out to oh, J. Cole. I just, I just uh, got a chance to uh, see Jasmine Sullivan uh, live. We, uh, uh, you know, the label got us tickets to the, the concert, Summer Walker yes. concert, and got a chance to see Jasmine Sullivan live. So Jasmine, if you see this interview, I need to, I, we need to chop it up. I need to, you know what I'm saying? I need to slide on something with you. Uh, you absolutely are incredible. You are amazing. I love everything about what you do, vocally, lyrically, musically, performance wise. So I'm just, I'm just putting this energy out there. So, you know, what type, you know, what type of time I'm on. Um, We're going to make sure Jasmine Sullivan gets that message. Absolutely, man. She's a, she's absolutely incredible. Uh, I love money. I love money long. I want to work with money long. She's a okay. writer now. Uh, well, she's a writer, but you know, I said she's in front of the cameras as well as myself. I love to touch bases with her on that on that side. Kendrick Lamar, uh, another yeah. amazing artist I got to work with, and then a few artists I just get get and get a chance because you know they transitioned before I could, which is Nipsey, Tupac, Prince, Ooh. Michael yes. Jackson, uh, icons, man, a lot, a lot of the greats, man. I didn't get a chance yeah. to work with. I will say, I will say, I'm gonna figure out a way to get some of those old masters. And we're gonna do some things because I just gotta be able to say I graced a song with these great artists, man. So yeah, man, I'm and looking for the opportunity. Actually, you've got some solid advice you have to share it with everyone from uh um the iconic Isaac Hayes. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to share. Yeah, it's what's crazy is 
um, I know his I know his son uh, Isaac Hayes III, which is um, he's the co-creator of Fan Base app, which is a social media platform. So shout out to Isaac III uh, for that, you know. Uh, but yeah, man, I got a chance to meet Isaac Hayes years ago uh, when I was like, you know, 12, 13 years old. Yeah. And, you know, I was in this big choir and the choir director was a producer from back uh, back in the day. So she had these relationships and, you know, he came, you know, came in and was talking to us and um, she asked, um, you know, would, would he give some words to, the, to, to, to us? So then he turned around, he asked the question to us and then, you know, I got a chance to talk to him and I told him what, what I wanted to do. And he said, so tell me again, what you want to do? I said, I want to, you know, I want to sing. I want to write. I want to produce. He said, you sure that's what you want to do? I'm like, yeah. He says, but well, listen, you first have to know that you have the gift and the ability to do it. That's first. You don't believe in yourself. Don't worry about what's happening around you because it is not going to matter because you ain't got what it takes to get to the next level because you don't believe that you deserve to be on the next level. So. Mm -hmm. Telling me that at 12, 13, that just only amplified what I was already feeling within myself. Cause I'm like, this is Isaac Hayes giving me these words. And I just took that to heart. And I've always felt like I belonged in the room. I've always felt like I was great. I always felt like I had the, the ability, the talent and the gift to get to the next level, which I'm finally sitting here talking to you because I'm on that level. So man, that's man. Just, I think, and I think that's important because when I begin to when I when I get to the point to be where Isaac Hayes was, I want to be able to do the same thing and tell the next generation that believe in yourself first, know that you have what it takes to get to the next level because it, it first starts with you. That's why the Bible says, but what a man think of, so he is. You know what I mean? That goes back to the, the upbringing that my grandma gave me. So all these yeah. things are connected on my journey to where I am today. So that, that was just amazing piece of advice that Isaac Hayes gave me. Tazio right here on Positive Progression TV, singer and songwriter. Tazio, anyone that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with um, in the industry itself? You know, you've got a nice, uh, wonderful discography. Um, you've, uh, as we've spoken about, you've penned a lot of tracks for a lot of artists out there. You've collaborated with a lot of artists on various genres which is obviously the big thing now, you know, um, Positive Progression TV is in several international markets. And so we've got a nice uh, fat international fan base all in the Eastern Caribbeans and Canada. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And so um, anyone know that <clears throat> you've always wanted to work with? Uh, yeah. Um, J. Cole being the first. Um, ah, North Carolina yeah. Zone. And his <laughs> Music is like my gospel music. Uh, nice. And I rock like, pretty much every day. Like if I'm ever in a moment where I just got to get into my vibe, I throw uh, J. Cole uh, off season on and I just ride to it. And I just, it just speaks to me on a different type of level. So, you know, shout out to J. Cole, you know what I'm saying, for being a great artist. So definitely want to work with him. Uh, shout out to so J. Cole. I just, I just uh, got a chance to uh, see Jasmine Sullivan. Uh, live, we uh, uh, you know the label got us tickets to the the concert, Summer Walker yes. concert, and got a chance to see Jasmine Sullivan live. So, Jasmine, if you see this interview, I need to I we need to chop it up. I need to you know what I'm saying I need to slide on something with you. Uh, you absolutely are incredible. You're amazing. I love everything about what you do, vocally, lyrically, musically, performance wise. So I'm just I'm just putting this energy out there. So you know what type you know what type of time I'm on. Um, we're gonna make sure Jasmine Sullivan gets that message. Absolutely, man, she's a she's absolutely incredible. Uh, I love money. I love money long. I want to work with money long. She's a writer now. Uh, well, she's a writer, but you know, I said she's in front of the cameras as well as myself. I love to touch bases with her on that on that side. Kendrick Lamar, uh, another yeah. amazing artist I got to work with, and then a few artists I just get getting get a chance because you know they transitioned before I could, which is Nipsey, Tupac. Prince, Ooh, Michael yes. Jackson, uh, icons, man. A lot, a lot of the greats, wow. man. I didn't get a chance yeah. to work with. I will say, I will say, I'm gonna figure out a way to get some of those old masters, and we're gonna do some things because I just gotta be able to say I graced a song with these great artists, man. So, yeah, man. I'm and looking you had for the opportunity. 
actually, you've got some solid advice. You have to share it with everyone from uh, um, the iconic Isaac Hayes. Um, yeah. 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 You have to share. Yeah. It's what's crazy is um, I'm, I know his, I know his son, uh, Isaac Hayes, the third, which is um, he's the co-creator of fan base app, which is a social media platform. So shout out mm -hmm. to Isaac third uh for that you know uh but yeah man i got a chance to meet isaac hayes years ago uh when i was like you know 12 13 years old yeah. and you know i was in this big choir and the choir director was a producer from back uh back in the day so she had these relationships and you know he can't you know came in and was talking to us and um she asked um you know would he give some words to the to 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 us? So then he turned around. And he asked the question to us, and then you know I got a chance to talk to him. And I told him what what I wanted to do. And he said, "So tell me again, what you want to do?" I said, "I want to, you know, I want to sing. I want to write. I want to produce." He said, "You sure that's what you want to do?" I'm like, "Yeah." He says, "But well, listen, you first have to know that you have the gift and the ability to do it. That's first. You don't believe in yourself." Don't worry about what's happening around you because it is not going to matter because you ain't got what it takes to get to the next level because you don't believe that you deserve to be on the next level. So yes. telling me that at 12, 13, that just only amplified what I was already feeling within myself because I'm like, this is Isaac Hayes giving me these words. And I just took that to heart. And I've always felt like I belonged in the room. I've always felt like I was great. I always felt like I had the, the ability, the talent and the gift to get to the next level, which I'm finally sitting here talking to you because I'm on that level. So man, that's man. Just, I think, and I think that's important because when I get to, when I, when I get to the point to be where Isaac Hayes was, I want to be able to do the same thing and tell the next generation that, Believe in yourself first. Know that you have what it takes to get to the next level because it, it first starts with you. That's why the Bible says, but what a man think of so he is. You know what I mean? That goes back to the, the upbringing that my grandma gave me. So all these yeah. things connected on my journey to where I am today. So that, that was just amazing piece of advice that Isaac Hayes gave me. And uh, national recording star, singer, and songwriter, Atazio, right here on Positive Progression TV. We really appreciate your time, man, and coming on the show. Um, share with everyone your URLs, man, and, and definitely, <clears throat> you know, your your social media out there, how people can get in contact with you. Uh, I'm everywhere you need me to be. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, if you're on Pinterest, hit me on Pinterest. Uh, and download the new single, listen to the new single, look at the new video, for Feel Better is on YouTube, is on uh Apple Music is on Spotify. It's on Tidal. It's a Tazio. A T O Z Z I O. I'm everywhere you need me to be. There it is. K okay. with the Muse Group, no doubt. Vince Herbert and the family. Yeah, yeah. How you like working with Vince, man? Uh man. Listen, Vince. Uh, a few years ago, again, I was young, coming into the industry, and Vince gave me the opportunity to work with Lady Gaga, who he signed, who he developed. Uh, and turn her into this iconic pop artist that we know today. Uh, right. He gave me work with her, and I was in the studio with my manager, and I met her, and I was like, oh, she's dope. She's this, you know, she looks good. Okay, cool. But I was like, I look, I turned to him, and I said, man, look, I don't, I'm, man, I'm like, man, she's probably never coming out, so I don't really want to, she's dope, but she's never, she's probably never coming out. You know, I was, right. like, I don't I don't want to work with no new artists. Well, all the big name artists. I'm I'm fresh in the game. Like, give me, give me the Beyonces. Give me, you know what I'm saying? Give me the us. Give me the big name. And he he fought with me, and I wouldn't listen. And that was what that was. And eight months later, I was in a uh, in Atlanta driving to the South Side where I lived. That I had a house on the South Side, mm -hmm. and my manager called me, and he says, "Hey." You you heard this song, dance, dance, dance. I said, yeah. What about it? Matter of fact, I said, matter of fact, it just went off the radio. He was like, you know, the, you remember the girl that you worked with in L.A. that you didn't that you were ready to leave and you want to work with because you said she wasn't coming out. I said, yeah. What about it? He said, that's her song. I said, no, it's not. He said, that's her song. <laughs> Chris, they listen. They played the song every day, all day long. So I heard wow. it all the time, and he was like. Yeah, that's her. He said, see, you don't listen, dummy, and hang up the phone, hung up the phone. And I laughed about it 
now because it wasn't that he was saying nothing wrong or malicious. It was just like when you, it's like the saying in the South, young and dumb. You know what I mean? Because you don't right. see what's in front of you. So I tell that to say that now when I met up with Vince again, all these years later, the first thing he said to me was, you're ready. He said, you talk to me, that you're ready now because you know how to listen. And right. I, and I want to I want to say what he said. I, I, this is something I, I came up with after what he said, which is artists get so caught up in who we are right. that we miss the advice on when people are trying to show us who we can become. And that was the thing for me. I was so I was too focused on who I was that I wasn't willing to listen to who I could become. So now at this level, working with Vince, I'm focused on who I can become, not who I am. Because I know who I am. Who I am is what got me in front of Vince. Now Vince is going to show me who I could become. And that's what I'm focused on. So this it's a it's it's a it's a it's a dream come true and it's a blessing to be working with such an with such a legendary and visionary as Vincent Herbert. Atazio right here on Positive Progression TV, dropping that great knowledge. Uh, shouts out to Vince Herbert, my boy, uh, no doubt, and uh, the entire family over there at the Muse Group. Thanks so much, Atazio, man, for joining us. Keep making good R&B music, okay? Keep Thank writing those good songs, okay, no doubt. And uh, we appreciate your time, man. Any last words you'd like to say to all your fans out there? Uh, Y'all stay tuned. Uh, I will be performing at the Essence Festival on July 3rd. So if you're in the area, uh, please, please pull up. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm saying please pull up because right now y'all need this good R&B energy. So please come and get that. And you know what I'm saying? We we out here. Like the new album is on the way. And, you know, stay tuned. Yeah, it is. Continue success, my brother. And thanks so much for your time. Appreciate you.